Uh, hello everyone. This tutorial will help you make statistical tests and find out if your data, if two groups of your data are statistically significantly different or not. So let's start with this. First you make a column. So th this statistical test can be done on any kind of data, um, but we'll start with a column. Click here, create. So let's say this was a study where different men and women were men and women were given alcohol and their blood sugar was tested just for example so you have a group that says men you have a group that says women and they were given alcohol maybe let's say every week and their blood glucose levels were tested every week and this is the result for their blood glucose of 10 independent men okay let's say this is their one is 10 9 these are just arbitrary units for now right right now okay so 10 and for women let's say it was Now you want to see if if there's any difference, any statistically significant difference between what the the change in blood sugar of women versus the change in blood sugar of men after they had alcohol for a week. So you want to perform a student's t test. So what you would do here is select analyze, click on t tests. You have these two sets of data. Click OK. Now it could be an unpaired test, it could be a paired test. So a paired test is the one where the, the, the individuals in two groups are somewhat related. For example, um, if you were taking, let's say if you were taking, if, if you were performing the experiments on the same individual on different days, in which case the person one in group A is the same person as person one in group B but they were tested under different conditions so in that case it would be a paired test because you would uh, you would not in that case you would not compare this whole group against this group you'll compare each individual against themselves and that would be a paired test but in an unpaired test you would just compare the whole group against the other group so since these are not the same individuals we'll go for unpaired test and click on options and you can always select a two detail test unless you know what you're doing. And most of these are fine. Click OK. Go to unpaired t test, and here's your p value. The p value is the probability that your samples are the same and it's really low. So it's a four star value. That means it, these are very significantly different. You can go to the graph. And so there's your graph, that's the graph that made, you, made for you. You can change the graph whatever way you want. Now, if you want to show the significance, you, um, there are many ways to show significance. Uh, you could draw a line if you want to. And draw a line and just put four stars on top of it. I'm sorry. So, yeah. So, so this could help you show significance if you have to. You can also use any other way, whichever is comfortable for you. So that's for showing significance in two different groups. And you use a student t test for you for them. Now let's say if there was a, another group of let's just make trans uh, yeah, transgenders. Now this study also did for another group and they had some values as well now you want to compare all these three groups so you cannot do a t-test for that if unless you, you go and do three t-tests first between men and women then between men and transgenders and then men and transgenders so in in such case where there are two more more than two groups you would have to select something called ANOVA so if you try to do t-test here it will not allow you to do it 
you must do an ANOVA. And ANOVA is uh, analysis of variance. It's somewhat similar to performing multiple t-tests. So we'll go for one day ANOVA. And it's, there is a similar thing. You can have each in rows represent repeated measures. That's similar to the pair test. This is similar. This is not the pair test. This is where you prepare the old whole group with the other group. So we'll keep this. In multiple comparisons, it, uh, you, you should enable multiple comparisons. Now, you, if you have a control column to which you want to compare everything else, you could put that. So let's say you want to compare both women and transgender against men. So you can have this control column as men. Or if you just want to compare everything with everything else, you can click here. And go to options. And comparing everything to everything else is actually called the Tukey's test. That's why it shows up here. There are, are other ways, but most of the people just go for Tukey's test. And everything else should be fine. Click OK. And there's your ANOVA. So if you go for multiple comparisons, so ANOVA tells you, so just remember, ANOVA tells you whether all these three groups are are significantly different from each other or not so in, in for the ANOVA p-value it this p-value means whether all of these three are different or not so even if one of these were to be similar with any other this uh, actually let me frame it this way what ANOVA ANOVA tests for is of any of these three groups is different not all of these I'm sorry I that was not the right word. So if any of these groups is different from the other two groups, the ANOVA would give you a positive signal. So your, your null hypothesis is that all of these are the same. And your alternative hypothesis would be that not all of these are the same. But if you want to see which one is different, you would have to go for multiple comparisons. And here's your comparison. So between men and women, it's yes, it's significant. It's significant, and it's there's an HSS p value of 0 0.002. For men and transgenders, this is highly significant. But between women and transgenders, it's not significant. So that's your multiple comparisons, and you can put all of that in your in your graph, whatever in whatever way you wish. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you to make decisions on what kind of statistical tests you want to make. Thank you.